evening, everyone. Good evening. Oh, should I say? Good morning. Anyway, uh, I would like to welcome you for tonight's talk, Seven Secrets to MLM Success. Now, I presume that most of you here, all right, you are in the MLM business. Yes, how many of you are involved in MLM business at the moment? All right. I presume the rest who are not involved are looking about what MLM is all about, okay? So anyway, it does not matter because what I'm going to share with you tonight, basically in this uh, one hour, two hour, uh, is basically about what MLM is about. Now, most people, they join MLM just because somebody tells them that MLM is good, all right? But without knowing what MLM is about, at the end of the day, you know, when they fail, a lot of people start to blame that MLM is no good. Is that true or not? Most people will blame MLM. Uh, uh, that's why MLM is one of the industry today in Malaysia, and not only in Malaysia, in other parts of Asia, it has got a bad image. All right? When people hear about MLM, they become very defensive. So I would say that it is because of ignorance, all right? nothing more. So what I want to share with you basically about the seven secrets to MLM success. Now, I have written quite a number of books. One of the books I wrote is uh, on the insider secret to network marketing. And uh, recently, I wrote this seven secrets to MLM success because I noticed that a lot of people who are in the MLM industry, they are struggling. All right, they are struggling. Sometimes they fail and they blame the MLM industry. Like what I say, all right? So the whole intention of this book is to show you how to pick the right company, how to become successful in this industry. All right, so let's have a look at what we're going to talk about today. Now, what is MLM actually? Is it a scam? Most people who do not understand MLM, they say MLM is a scam, right? Could get rich scheme and so on. But actually, what is MLM? Let's have a look. The proof is that, all right, it is a successful and proven system for the distribution of product and services. That's all. MLM is just a system of distribution of product and services, all right? And today, a lot of big companies are using the MLM business model to market their product as well. Companies like IBM, even Toyota, Coca-Cola, you know, they are, using, they are using this MLM business model because it's just a system of distribution of product and services, that's all. Okay? It is one of the best business models that allows ordinary people to earn extraordinary income. A lot of people get into MLM because they realize that in the MLM business, there is no limit to the income that you can earn. It's up to you, all right? But if you do some other business, or even if you are working for somebody, there's a limit to what you can earn. But through the MLM business model, it's a fantastic business model, and it allows you to earn income that you never dream of. All right, that's why a lot of people are excited about this business. Now, a successful business model, all right? It's a successful business model. It combines this powerful concept. So when you talk about MLM, you must understand that what are the concept line behind this MLM business, all right? Number one, it is a franchising concept, all right? Number one is a franchising concept. I'm sure you are aware of franchising, isn't it? Is it a very successful concept? Look at McDonald's, is it very successful? Look at Kentucky Chicken, franchising is very successful. So basically when you talk about multi-level marketing or MLM, you're talking about franchising concept. Now, how many of you would like to have a franchise for McDonald's? Put up your hand. <laughs> Most of you don't put up your hand probably because of the cost involved. Is that true or not? To get a franchise, it might cost you a million or even more than a million to get a franchise. And when they give you a franchise, it is only for a particular location. True or not? Do they give you the franchise for whole of Malaysia or Asia? No, just for that particular location and it costs you so much. But do you understand that? With the MLM business, you have a franchise to do that business throughout the whole world. Is that exciting? For well, just a mere maybe 60 ringgit or 100 ringgit that you join in, all right, you can have a business that you can do anywhere. You have a franchise. All right, do you realize that if somebody is not a member of your company, they go there. The company won't sell them also. True, true enough, they have no right to do the business. But when you sign up for a particular company, you have a franchise to do that business throughout the whole world. So I believe that you should treat the business like a big business, not just like you know a small business because just because you invest sixty ringgit or hundred ringgit for getting started, you know that's why most people do not become successful. They don't see the big picture behind, right? So it's a franchising concept. The second thing is that it is based on exponential growth. All right. Now Albert Einstein says it is the eighth wonder of the world. You know, exponential growth. 
All right, don't realize that if I ask you this question, you know, if today I give you 500,000 ringgit cash and give you a choice, if you want the second alternative, I give you one cent, but double it every single day for 30 days, which one would you choose? The 500,000 or the one cent, doubling every day? You know, after 30 days, you have more than 10 million, my friend, just one cent starting, but doubling. That is exponential growth. Are you with me? So when we talk about network marketing, it is a concept of exponential growth, which is what we call leveraging as well. You see, in conventional business, it's a lot of people, it's one person, sorry, in a conventional business, it's one person working very hard to generate the volume. Yes? One person working very hard, but we talk about MLM business model, it is a lot of people, each one doing a little bit. It's exciting. All right? And the last one, I will add that, is internet. Now, this is the area that a lot of people do not use yet. I, I must say that, you know, a lot of people who are involved in network marketing today, they do it the traditional way, yes or no? But you realize that today the internet is here to stay. All right, Bill Gates quoted this, don't quote me, all right? Bill Gates quoted this, in the next few years, there will only be two types of businesses. Either you are on the net or you are out of business. All right, so are you using the internet as a tool to promote, to promote what you are doing today. Most people are not, they are doing the traditional way, isn't it? Later on, I will share with you, uh, what you do previously may not work today anymore. Okay? What are the benefits? Let's quickly run through the benefits of network marketing. Number one, you can start your own business today. Is that exciting? Have you heard of Paul John G uh, J. Paul Getty? How many of you have? Paul J. Uh, J. Paul Getty? He was the first billionaire in the United States, you know. All right, and in his book, he said that to be truly successful, there are six things you need to fulfill. And the top on the list is you must own your own business. Only when you own your own business, you earn how much income, all right? You have a choice of where you work, how you work, and with whom you work. You are in total control, okay? So most of us sitting in this room, and those outside there as well, realize that having your own business is one of the best alternatives. True or not? But why is it most of us do not start a business? Because of various factors, yeah? Capital involvement, the risk involved, and so on. But you realize that in a network marketing business, you can start a business tonight. Yes or no? You can start a business tonight because network marketing is your own business. And you don't have to wait until you have 100,000, 200,000 to invest, or you go for college, or or technical school to, to learn to get the knowledge to start a business. No, in network marketing, you can start today your own business, okay? Low, okay, set up costs and operating expenses. If you want to start a conventional business, the capital invest, investment is very high. The monthly running expenses is also very high. But if you are talking about starting a network marketing company, is it high? To get started, maybe just Less than 100 ringgit, you can get started, all right? Maybe you need to buy a, a little bit of stock, that's about it. All right, maybe a few hundred dollars worth of stock, that's all. All right, so low setup costs and operating expenses. You work from home, how do you like that? You don't have to have a big office. And people ask me, Richard, where is your office? I just have to tell them, you know, my office is just three, you know, three foot away from my bed, that's about it. When I wake up early in the morning, three feet away, that is my office. Is that simple or not? All right, so it's very simple. You don't have to have big office, so your expenses is kept very low. No experience needed, yeah? Now, I'm a chartered accountant by profession. All right, how many of you can become a chartered accountant? Or let's say if I'm a lawyer, how many of you can be a lawyer or a doctor for that matter? You can't, yeah? You're not qualified, you don't have the experience, okay? <coughs> but here, in the network marketing business, you don't need experience at all. You know why? Because you can learn as you earn. True or not? It gives the opportunity to learn and earn. But the sad part of this is that most people, they want to learn everything before they get started. They want to know everything 